Well, this is the only diesel truck on the market that just flashes the stability control light at you. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a brand new Ford Tremor. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo, Utah, for giving me some time with this Tremor. I'm gonna include a link to their website in the description down below. You can actually check out this truck because it is available for the time being. And then on a side note, if you're gonna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. It goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 475 horsepower and then 1,050 pound feet of torque. You can also get a notch aspirated 7.3 liter V8 with the Tremor package. Now let's go to the front end of this Tremor. And this one is all blacked out because, well, it has a Tremor package, but then it also has a black appearance package. I think that's what it's called. Double check the window sticker at the end of the video. But anyways, you got the Super Duty there on the front of the hood. And then you have the signature Super Duty hood where it's kind of like raised in the center and then on either side, and then there's some divots all around. We've got our blacked out Ford logo here with the camera at the bottom of the logo. And then full LED daytime running lights. And then with the headlights as well. Notice with the fog lights down below. And then we've got our tow hooks here on the front end. And then as part of the Tremor package, they basically cut the air dam. So it's not as aerodynamically efficient on the highway, but it helps out with approach angle and ground clearance. And well, that's the front. Coming around the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 285, 75, 18 in the front and the rear, AKA 35s, which is what the power wagon should have, but it does not, but at least the Tremor has that. Now I love how the wheels are darker in coloration and these are the Duratrax, which are really good tires. So you guys can see pretty aggressive tread pattern, which is great for grip off-road, but you can just get so many miles out of these. Now, this is lifted a uh, couple of inches. Now, part of that lift is technically from the tires is what I've discovered, um, but they also do lift the suspension a little bit and then you've got the off-road shocks. And then notice here with the body painted fender flare is pretty aggressive. We have our Lariat F250 badge here on the side, 6.7 liter power stroke badge down below. Notice the mirror cap is blacked out and we got those fixed side steps. We'll go and talk about those in just a second, but here's your full side view. So this has the Raptor style steps as you can see. And then again, we've got off-road shock here in the rear and then you got the leaf springs as well. And then of course, Tremor logo. So here's a key fob for the Tremor. We have our Ford logo there on the back, unlock, lock, remote start on the drop down for the tailgate. Payload capacity is 2,597 pounds with this truck again being an F250 with the power stroke. Now this has Ford's tailgate step system. And then you can see here with the LED lights in the bed. Now you can get a bed liner from the factory. This particular truck doesn't have it, but it does have the little fifth wheel prep there in the center. And then this one also has a tonneau cover as well, which is pretty neat. And then let, actually, let's see if this has the auto raise. Nope. <laughs> so got to lift it up myself. And then let's finish things up with the rest of the rear. So we've got the signature Super Duty tail lights here with the little blind spot thing there in the center, basically it's the sensor for it. And then again with the darker Ford logo and then the Super Duty logo as well. More parking sensors here on the rear. And then look how big the receiver hitch is. And then of course we have our double exhaust tip set up here, poking out the side. And, oh, well, that's the rear. Now here is the door panel in the rear. Notice with the wood trim right there. And then other than that, normal Lariat door panel. And then same thing with the seats. You've got the normal Lariat seats here. They don't do anything for the Tremor package with the seats, which is fine. Under seat storage. And then we've got a couple of cup holders right there. And then we've got vents down below, heated seats. We've got a bunch of charging ports and full power outlet as well. And you guys can see room back here. Pretty great. And see ya. Now here's the front door panel. You've got much nicer padding here at the front with the Tremor package. And then more of that wood trim. We do have blind spot monitoring for the mirrors. And this has Ford's mirror extender system as well. So that if you hook up with a trailer, you can see behind the trailer. And then again, all of our window controls in that area. This does have three different settings for the memory seats. And again, those Raptor style side steps. And then we've got, again, the Lariat seats here at the front. 
And again, payload sticker, there you go, $25.97 for the payload. And then here's a quick look at the pedal layout, pretty normal. We do have pedal adjustment right here, and then we've got our light controls, and then the mirror lights. Steering wheel is power adjustable. Let's pop in. Here's the steering wheel for the Tremor. You've got nice leather trim all around, and then we have our contrast stitching there on the center portion. We've got normal stuff like our voice command controls, phone controls, volume controls as well. Controls for the center stack, and then we do have our cruise control here on the other side. Turn signal stock, and then we do have our column shifter for that 10-speed automatic, and it's probably hard to see with the uh, lighting, but if we uh, zoom in extra close, well, apparently that doesn't work. There we go. You can see drive mode select. You just press that button right there. And then you got the plus and the minus for the gear select. And that's the steering wheel. Now here is the center gauge cluster. So you still have a mostly analog gauge cluster, but there is that screen there in the center, which you can scroll through different menus, see different bits of info on the truck, like tire pressure, for example, which is very important for an off-roader. So you know exactly what's happening uh, with that. Um, but yeah, it literally has every bit of info that you could ever need. I guess that we're a uh, three degrees to the side maybe now it makes sense as to why i kept trying to like get a stable image but the image kept looking crooked three degrees to the side now i know now here is the 12 inch infotainment system just up above it we have a control for the diesel exhaust brake stability control our off-road cruise control lane departure and then for the camera system so we have a full, full 360 camera system so this is like our front view as you can see we also have a bed camera view and then we have like a zoomed in view on the receiver hitch and then also the uh, backup view, which when you put it in reverse, the backup view will automatically pop on. It does have trajectory lines too. So like, yeah, pretty cool system overall. Now it's the rest of the infotainment system, shortcut bar here at the bottom. And then also on the side as well, there's kind of like two different shortcut bars with this infotainment system. Um, but overall response time is great with the infotainment system. Um, it's easy to use overall and toasty outside today, 107, wow. We've got our drive line suck, so this has two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low. It does have a locker in the rear, and then we've got our trailer brake controls, and then we've got our trailer backup system, and then we've got our analog controls for the volume setup, and then also for the climate controls. Has dual zone climate, has heated and cooled seats, and then we have our wireless phone charging pad down below, and got that nice piece of wood trim right there. More storage space, and then some cup holders, and then you can see inside of the center console and then look at the leather trim here on top and then look at this power outlet setup and then we have a double glove box it says super duty on it and then nice leather trim here on the dash and then popping up very top do have a power setting window and then we got a sunglass holder controls for the center full panoramic center if you guys are wondering and that's all so here is the window sticker for this 2022 tremor you guys can see all the standard equipment right here with the Tremor. And this one's as loaded as it gets, pretty much. Uh, again, F-250. Um, so again, we got like stuff like the Power Stroke Diesel we already went over. But you can see, this has like every single option added to it. And so after all options, look at the base price, $57,000. Um, but anyways, $87,410. Wow. These trucks have gotten pretty pricey. Let's take it out and see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors, we still have blind spot monitoring. And throw the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Up in the F-250 Tremor. And I understand that the most popular version of the Super Duty Tremor is with the F-350 because, well, both trucks have leaf springs, but the F-350 has an extra leaf spring and a little bit heavier duty suspension overall and has a higher payload. But this is still a really cool and capable truck. And frankly, Let's be real here. Half tons meet the capability needs of most people nowadays because of lightweight trailer technology and increased payloads. And so this, with the payload it has and towing capacity it has, should be more than enough for, again, most people's needs. That being said, I love how this uh, drives. Uh, so Ford still utilizes solid front and rear axles, which is great for, uh, stability in certain regions with towing unless apparently you go like super high speeds 
Uh, I guess that's the downside with the uh, solid front axles, but it, it helps out quite a bit because uh, there's been a lot of talk about uh, GM having their front ends just come completely apart because of the independent front suspension they're using on their heavy duty trucks. Um, the other thing uh, is obviously with off-roading, you get way more articulation if you have solid axles. So this having solid front and rear axles helps out quite a bit from the articulation front. And well, this is the only diesel truck on the market that just flashes the stability control light at you. I think that's why this has the sport traction mode because Ford knows that this has too much power. So <laughs> they're like, we got to do a sport traction mode so that it uh, puts down the power a little bit better, which by the way, all you have to do is just press this twice and then we're in the sport mode. Look at that base model Maverick. You don't see those very often. Definitely feels like a big truck, that's for sure. Yeah, it puts it down a lot better when you're in that sport track mode, that is for sure. Uh, less uh, stability control light flashing all over the place. But let's talk about the main topic of the video and that is the Ram Power Wagon. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments from Power Wagon enthusiasts saying, well, the Tremor doesn't have a front locker. It doesn't have a sway bar disconnect. And yes, you are correct in that. However, the amount of Power Wagon owners, Tremor owners, and you know, just, you know, heavy duty truck owners in general that actually do like off-roading with their trucks is very minimal. And that's just most off-roaders in general. And so if we take off-roading out of the equation, which I know sounds ridiculous because it's an off-road truck, but it's not too ridiculous when nobody takes these off-road, then this truck can have a diesel powertrain whereas a power wagon can't, has bigger tires so it looks better. You have to do the aftermarket with the power wagon. And uh, frankly, I think the thing that really shows is these are constant, like this is the first Tremor that I've seen that hasn't been sold in forever. Uh, these typically are like always sold out. Whereas at local Ram dealerships, you can typically find, you know, one or two power wagons on the lot. Sometimes there's no power wagons, but they'll there there will be times where they will be on the lot and they sit as well. I've never seen a Tremor sit on the lot for more than maybe like a day or two once they actually arrive uh, to the dealership if they're new. And so I, I think the demand also kind of uh, shows things uh, a little bit with both of these trucks. People want a diesel truck if they're gonna go up to a heavy duty. So I think that it'd be cool if Ford added a new package on the Tremor that had like a front locker and a sway bar disconnect. I don't know how that would work with a diesel engine. I'm not an engineer, but I think it'd be cool if they figured that out so that they could have like a diesel competitor to the power wagon. And then same thing, I think that Ram, it'd be cool if they figured out how to shove a diesel into the power wagon. But either way, let me know which truck you guys would pick, power wagon or Tremor, and I'll see you. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this Ford Tremor. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the intro in the description down below. I'll see ya.